Brendan Hogan from the Shoemaker Jacques Club here for our latest installment of our SAYC Rebuilding video blog. I'm here at the front door. Uh, welcome you all inside to see some of the things that we've had done, including our sheetrock and uh, and all of our rough mechanicals and and uh, really some great progress in the last couple months. Uh, I just want to take this opportunity to thank our, our editors, uh, editors in chief, uh, Bill and Jeanette Armbruster, who have been working with me on this project since the beginning. And uh, come on inside and let's see what we've got in store for you. As you can see, we still have some work to do on the vestibule here. Uh, we did get all of our additional framing in as per the town, and uh, we're looking to have the final approvals on this uh, sometime this week, so that's a great step forward as well. Elevator is due to be delivered uh, in the next couple weeks and installed, and at that point, it's really going to start to look like uh, we're, we're humming here. All right, folks, I want to welcome you to the main floor of our clubhouse. Uh, as part of our next update here, we have to show you the progress that's been done in here. Uh, primarily, we're starting with uh, all of the uh, sheet rocks all roughed in. Uh, we have gotten all of our rough inspections for our mechanicals, our electric, and plumbing. And uh, this week, we expect to turn the water onto the clubhouse. So that's a pretty big, you know, pretty big step. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a quick little tour and show you what it looks like. A little bit more closed in and uh, closer. Uh, to what the building's going to look like as we get done. Now, uh, bear with us too. We do have a couple guys working here. It is a Sunday, but we have people working on the clubhouse on a Sunday. Uh, so we're going to be uh, dealing with that as well. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the little tour here. I'm going to start going over towards the western side of the club here. Uh, we have the men's room and the, uh, the, the liquor cabinet and the bar. So, so we'll head over there next. All right, in here, uh, in here we have the, uh, you'll see it's the green, the green board, all right, that's because it's a bathroom and it's a little bit more water resistant than typical sheetrock, uh, and you'll notice throughout the building, the sheetrock's actually quite a bit thicker than what you would find in your own house, and that's, uh, you know, it helps arrest flames in the event of a fire, it also shows we're building this place to stand the test of time. Uh, so I have a quick tour here, uh, and we're hoping to have some fixtures coming in here really soon. Okay, so in here you'll find our liquor cabinet. This is also going to be our first floor kind of mechanical room. We have all of our electric here, done by Tom Trevor Electric, member Jeff Miller. Thank you so much. Uh, so this is about to get finished sheetrocking in, and uh, this room is going to be filled with shelving for all of our liquor right behind the bar, which we'll go see next. Okay, so behind me you can see our new bar that's uh, just starting to get really roughed in and finished, okay? Uh, we're in the process of creating a nice comprehensive plan, uh, which we intend to deliver to the rebuild committee so that they can see pretty much the, the bar committee's vision for what this space is going to be. Uh, it's got a great shape, it's kind of nice to see it closed in, and uh, it looks like it's going to be uh, really a great space for us. We are looking at having tap beer and sodas and everything like that. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be full service and uh, probably better than anything we've had before. And now for your reference, the ladies room. Again, roughed in. About to finish sheetrock in here. We have the two stalls set up, our ADA compliance stall over here. And it looks like it's going to be a bigger or better room than we had before. Okay, now we find ourselves inside our new world-class kitchen. Uh, to my right here on the northern side of the club, we have our slop sink area. This will be some storage for dry goods. Uh, it'll also be an area where we can clean the whole kitchen into and, and be able to get out of there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. If you'll follow me along uh, the eastern wall here, we're going to be heading towards the south. All right, we're going to be right where the cabinets are right now. Here is the hookup for our range. We're going to have a big commercial range with a big vent hood over the top and a fire suppression system in here as well. All right, and as we walk further down, we'll have room for our sinks, 
um, and some other storage options, and then look at this view. <laughs> Tell you what, you're not going to be working a day in this kitchen because it's going to feel like vacation. Okay, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you guys to the second floor of the Shoreacres Shop Club. Right to my right here, we have the elevator shaft. Uh, it's in the process of being closed in. Right now, we have the elevator ordered and being constructed. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty big elevator. So they're going to be coming in. We got a couple beams we're going to hang so that they can hoist and get this thing in the right position. Uh, and that should be up and running probably uh, the end of May, beginning of June, somewhere in there. So we're really looking forward to it. In the meantime, you can see up here most of the sheetrock's completed. There are parts we've left open. Uh, and you can see here how thick the insulation is. I mean, most of this is, uh, these are four inch walls. Most of these exterior walls are six inches and they're insulated all the way through. Right behind me here, we have the mechanical closet for the elevator, just so you can see. As we come up here through uh, into the main floor, uh, right behind, you'll see we have a little bit of a closet here. This is gonna be our water heater uh, and probably a little bit of a place to hang coats and everything. Um, and then right next to that, we're going to have a mechanical closet here as well for one of the HVAC systems. This is all installed and approved, and again, probably this week or next week, we'll be, we'll be firing it up for the first time. So it's very exciting once we're done with this sheetrock. Um, to my left here on the eastern side, we just have a little alcove with, uh, with a window in it that we're hoping to make some use of in the future. And then that leads us right here to our ADA compliant and accessible uh, bathroom for the second floor. Now if we get into the southeastern corner of the room here, we're looking at using this space possibly for a ship store display, uh, which could be really great for uh, hawking of merchandise in the future. And then we're also sharing it with another mechanical closet for the other HVAC unit. Uh, again, really looking forward to getting these fired up. Spin a 180. Very cool. For your reference, that's our new vaulted ceiling in the second floor. Looks good. And if you couldn't tell by now, my favorite part of the tour, now we're up to the second floor bar. Now, this has been graciously donated by Jay Jensen and Bob Goodyear, among others. Uh, it will be in the shape of a, a lap streak boat. Uh, it looks beautiful from the pictures I've seen. Uh, this is just our outline of it now. And uh, I really can't wait till we get this thing up and going here because it is, uh, it is definitely the, uh, the final finish, finishing piece of our new clubhouse. Um, and as you take a, take a look around here, you're really going to be able to see what a big, beautiful room this is, even insulated and sheet rocked. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty much, uh, it's almost as big as the old clubhouse. I just wanted to uh, take this opportunity to thank you guys for coming to look at our latest update on the, on the rebuild project here at Shore Acres Yacht Club. Uh, we're looking forward to having a new video for you soon, hopefully uh, covering some of the interior additions that we've done and some of our fixtures and everything like that. As always, always welcome to hear feedback and looking forward to it, and uh, we'll see you guys soon, hopefully on the water. <laughs>